Hi, it's Kathleen, and this week, we're going thrifting, but we're going thrifting for you. That's right, last week I asked y'all what you wanted me to look for at the thrift store. And, uh, spoiler alert, I found a beautiful rainbow vintage clothing collection. So, if you want to figure out how you can get your grubby little paws on some of these beautiful vintage pieces, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. And until then, let's go thrifting. Our goal tonight is to find awesome vintage stuff for my next whatnot sale, so cross your fingies for me and let the hunt begin. Welcome to a very rare Kathleen Illustrated After Hours. I don't usually thrift at night. I'm not quite sure why. I just feel a little feral when I do. I had a request in the last video for extra large, funky vintage sweaters. I'm definitely keeping my peepers peeled for that. Maybe some dresses. It seemed like there was some interest for that as well. So let's see what we can find. I don't have very high hopes for this thrift store. There's not a lot of vintage stuff here for some reason. So we'll probably be thrifting bright and early tomorrow morning as well. But for now, let's see what we can find at this twilight thrifting hour. Okay, before we get to the clothes, the homewares are kind of litty right now. There's this whole set of hand-thrown holes. We've got a chalice moment, love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, how sweet is this little slip dress? I mean, it's literally a slip, but you know, wear it as a dress. But is it too springy? Hmm, I'll pass and wait for you guys to yell at me in the comments. Okay, 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 this is what I am talking about, you guys. Look at this pretty little pleated tartan number, and it even has a bit of a punk rock moment. Hey, you're coming home with me. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. This next item is a little wild, and I think it's gonna serve as a good litmus test for how wild y'all are. How did that make you feel? Let me try again. Any thoughts? Not much luck here, but we'll try again tomorrow morning. So, good night. Here's a little kiss. Mwah. Good morning. It is a bright, shiny day. Uh, uh. It is a bright, shiny day, and hopefully we find some bright, shiny goods at this thrift store. Some guy just yelled at me from his car, Hey, you shuffle? No. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that first stop is best stop, and best stop is the dresses. I'm feeling like this whatnot sale will have a very like colorful kind of fun vibe to it. Vintage color. Maybe that's what we'll name it. I feel like I found a dress like this last time I was here. Cute little sailor vibe. Quite feel special enough for y'all. I always get excited when I see this kind of shiny taffeta -y texture, but it's always just like a choir robe or a graduation robe. Maybe I need to buy a bunch of them from the thrift store and like make something out of them. I see polka dots. This is cute. Little pearl buttons with this cute little yoke, different polka dot patterns, and it's vintage. I see pleats and I see lace and I am intrigued. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, there's another one right behind it. Two dresses in the same kind of texture? Interesting. Look at this fancy number. This lapel is crazy. And the vintage dresses are just on fire today. An elusive horse girl shirt? What? What is this? What does that mean? Ooh, she's colorful. She's vintage. This pattern kind of reminds me of the floor at the roller rink. But is that a bad thing? This is incredible. All hail Lisa. This cart is colorful and out of control and chaotic. And I love it. Okay, I don't think this is for the whatnot sale, but I always try and grab these blank slate two-piece sets whenever I see them because I can do things like this or like this. So definitely getting this. So I found some plates. I think I need to get out of here. Let's go through my cart. Okay, so unfortunately, as I've looked through these more, I've noticed more staining. So I'm not going to be able to grab this one, unfortunately. I love this color so much. It's pretty stained up. All right, I'm going to check out and uh, we'll talk more when I get home. Scuff my Nikes and sniff my crotch. <laughs> I think you're a rude boy. So, before 
Before I get everything that I just bought in the wash, um, there's something that I need to open that also needs to go in the wash. I got a very interesting tip from our friend Sweetie Sue's Vintage, saying that her friend was selling a vintage clown suit and uh, she got me hook, line, and sinker. And it's funny because I was just telling my friend today that I feel like my clown core era is on its way to coming to a close. You know, everything has a natural life cycle. And then this shows up in the mail today. So as much as I'm leaning towards being done with clown core, clown core is not done with me. And if that's not sinister, I don't know what is. Did I mention it came with a hat? I knew it was orange and red, but seeing it in person, it's uh, it's giving Ronald McDonald. So maybe we'll be doing a Ronald McDonald, but make it court jester cosplay. Can't believe I've done this. It's laundry time. Making soup, making soup, making soup, making soup. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let's talk about this ding dang sale, what I'm gonna be freaking selling, and also about how the dirtier my hair gets, the more I look like a founding father. I guess the frilly collar doesn't help. We're titling this amazing collection of vintage finds, Vintage Rainbow. And there's even a micro collection. We'll call it a capsule collection. That is clown core. So let's just start there, shall we? Listen, I know this bag isn't for everyone, but it is for someone. Super cute, homemade, big old buttons, but it's also incredibly spacious. There's lots of big pockets on the inside. You could like carry a laptop, laptop, a laptop in here. Go on your next Hawaiian vacation, toting this bag boy bag boy am i okay <laughs> so last time i did a whatnot sale there was one sweater that i was like i don't want to sell this it's too amazing and lo and behold there's another dream sweater for this whatnot sale this feels like something that the ceo of a circus empire would wear 100 percent cotton size small fits like an oversized small next i really do be thinking that the same person owned both of these jackets how cute with these raw edges and all the buttons are different colors well they're just purple and yellow but this has a really cool almost like my micro chore coat cut. It's marked a size large. I'd say it's more like a medium with a very cool little vintage tag. This next clowny item has more of a 90s clown vibe. Absolutely insane pattern. All right, that's it for the clowny items. Oh, here's something that I pulled out of my own closet. This midi length leather pencil skirt. Beautiful. I think my favorite thing about it is this little button detail right here above the slit. I think it's marked an 1112, but as always, I'll have the flat lay waist measurements uh, listed in the descriptions so you can make sure that it'll fit you. I absolutely adore this kind of prep school meets punk jumper dress. It's marked a size 12 and I say that's pretty accurate. Next we've got a very fancy number. This beautiful tuxedo dress with these beaded lapels. Does this or does this not remind you of the mean stepmom from The Parent Trap who I think was just a misunderstood character. All right on to some color. Starting with this pop of pink silk dress. It has really fun buttons going down to the waist and then a little zipper. Perfect closet staple for this coming spring. Marked a size 14. I think that's pretty accurate. Somebody call mac and cheese. This two-piece silk set is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's 100% silk, marked as a six. I'd say this is more like a modern zero, but whoever gets this, I hope you just rock it and strut around the office or wherever you're gonna wear it because this is powerful. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This sweet little cozy, almost like play dress with a really cool vintage label. Now we're moving into our little teal aqua collection. First, we have this handmade one. Isn't that wild? That has a really cool little detail of like almost like a capelet over the shoulder and then we have this super detailed and sweet vintage dress marked a size 18 what more could you want really all right what else what else now we're into our cozy section and also our channel lore section so if you're around for my first whatnot video we saw these friends at the thrift store they were still there when i went back this time so i thought tis fate let's bring brian home so he does not hurt himself any further it's marked a size xl and it has just the best little butter color you know i love little butter color and then in my thrift with me for 2023 trends video you saw this sweet little teacher vest and i said i felt like a k-drama female lead wearing it this could be you and to finish it off where are they we've got a wild card and that wild card was meant for walking yeah 
I'm selling the boots. We also found these in the thrifting for 2023 trends video. Really cool vintage inspired silhouette. These like slouchy kind of 80s style with the kitten heel. A lot of y'all seem to like them in the comments. Maybe you would like to have them yourself. Oh, and actually we have one more wild card. I'm gonna do a giveaway during the whatnot sale and I'm gonna be giving away these two sweet little pressed flower hangings and they're super vintage. You can actually see that they were made in West Germany. They could be really cute like above a toilet or above a light switch. Those are two very specific places. So we'll be giving those away. We'll have all of these other items for sale. And I'll be honest, I can't wait. All right, let's talk about this actual sale. This vintage Rambo whatnot sale is scheduled for Friday, February 3rd at 6 p.m. We don't know what whatnot is. It's basically just a platform where vintage sellers and toy collectors can sell their stuff in an auction format. And if you haven't signed up yet, you can use my link to get $15 off your first purchase, which is awesome. No pressure to use it, of course. And the sale is very dry heavy i am realizing there's some other things in there as you saw but if dresses aren't your thing let me know down in the comments what is your thing what you would like to see and i hope to see you on friday february 3rd and between now and then i'm going to colorado and i'm gonna go thrifting next week's video will be a thrift with me in denver colorado i heard that there's a bar that's also a vintage shop so we'll probably check that out as well and if that sounds interesting then make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified when i post it speaking of subscribing thanks for 6k subscribers that escalated quickly and I'm so glad to have y'all here with me. You know we like to celebrate these things on this channel so I'm thinking we'll do some sort of channel milestone celebration sometime in February and of course it will include giveaways galore. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you. Uh, my clown suit is still drying so I can't show it to you. Maybe next week. Definitely come back for that. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget you can always keep up with me on Instagram or you can watch any of my 60 plus thrifting videos to help scratch that thrifting itch that I know is oh so itchy at times. I'm not not a doctor, but that is a prescription. Okay, I love you. Bye.